Hey everybody, so today we're going to make a shrub and a tea out of honey crisp apples and we're also going to be using some cinnamon and nutmeg. This is going to make it taste like an apple pie. Now, if you have never had a honey crisp apple, then you're totally missing out on an apple that has tasty, tasty, tasty sweetness and a flavor that is like no other apple. For me, it's one of my favorites. Actually, it is my favorite, um, but it can be a little bit spendy buying honey crisp apples. Now, I was going to use two apples in this video, but then I realized that these apples are so big that it only took one apple to make this recipe. So I'm going to make the apple shrub and I'm also going to make a apple tea out of the shrub because there's going to be leftover chopped up apples after we make the shrub and I don't want to waste them. I totally want to use them and get as much flavor out of these babies as I can. So I'm going to make a tea, a shrub, and I'm also going to show you how you can use the shrub in any of your favorite drinks to add that extra flavor. All right, let's do it. All right, so first we're going to start off with apple cider vinegar. I'm going to use half a cup of that. And then we're going to also use some red wine vinegar. I'm going to use a half a cup of that as well. And we're also going to use some sugar. Now this sugar has some really, really tasty flavor and it's called Demerara. I believe I pronounced it right. I hope I did, but it has a really nice, sweet caramel type flavor and it's not overwhelming like granulated salt. And we're also going to use some cinnamon sticks and a half of a nutmeg. Now for the cinnamon stick, it's just going to be one stick. But first, let's chop up these apples real quick and get it out the way so we can get to the good part. Now look at these apples. They're gorgeous, big, and they're thick as far as like they're not a soft apple. They have a nice crunch to it. All right, so we're going to put those to the side, actually in the cast iron skillet. And then after that, we're going to add a half cup of apple cider vinegar. That's the last of my vinegar. I got to make sure I buy some more today. Pour that in over the apples. This is going to give it that nice bite. And we're also going to add a half cup of red wine vinegar as well. And this is going to give it those little hints of wine. So it's going to be really, really tasty, unique in flavor, but it's not going to be overwhelming in vinegar flavor. All right, so we got the vinegars in. Now it's time for us to add one cinnamon stick. Now I got these cinnamon sticks at Costco. They're very long, so I'm breaking it in half. You can do use more cinnamon if you choose to, but I'm just going to use one because I don't want it to taste completely like cinnamon. And I'm also going to take a whole nutmeg, cut that baby in half, and I'm going to add it to the mix just like that. All right. And so I'm also going to add a little bit of sugar. Now, when I say a little bit, I'm going to add about a half a cup of sugar. Um, it's totally up to you on how much sugar you want to add and what type of sugar you want to add. But I'm using a half cup of this because I don't want it to be too sweet because I can always add more sugar later on if I want my drink to be sweet. So right now I'm just going to add a half a cup. I'm going to add about a half a cup of water, mix it in really, really good. And then we're going to get this to boiling. And I'm going to put a lid on top because I want the apples to soften up. Okay, and I want the flavors, the sugars to come out of the apple and mix in with the vinegar and the cinnamon and the nutmeg. So this is probably going to take about 15 minutes. You can let it boil down until you start to see bubbles just like this. And that's coming from the sugars. Okay, so you don't want to boil it all the way down. You still want to have some liquid in there because the liquid is what you're going to use for your shrub. All right, I'm going to make a mess, as you can see, and I'm going to drain these apples and put them into a mason jar. I made such a mess. And of course, it was sticky because of the sugar. So I'm going to have to clean that up. But this is how it's going to look. You're going to have a jar full of apples with juice in there. and mm, It's going to smell good. Now, this is the funny thing. My wife and my daughter said the house smelled like Cheetos, but it tastes like apples, apple pie. All right, 24 hours later. Yes, the next day, look at that. The sugars have broken down, the apples, the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the sugar, the vinegar, mm, all combined, and you have a nice shrub. Now the shrub 
is the juice that's left from all of this. And this is what you're going to be using to add to your favorite drinks, the juice. But I don't want to waste the honey crisp apple. I do not want to waste it because the flavor that's in there is so tasty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain out all of the apples and keep the juice in the bowl. And I'm going to put my cinnamon sticks to the side because I am going to be using them. And as you can see, these are some big cinnamon sticks. A lot of flavor in there. All right, I'm just going to mash the apples up just a little bit because I do want to get some more shrubs. So I'm going to mash up the apples and I'm going to get some more juice out of it. Then I'm going to put the apples to the side. And I'm going to take the shrub juice and I'm going to put it in a mason jar because this is what I really want out of all of this. Now, here's a fact. The longer you let your shrub, your apple mix sit in the refrigerator, the more flavor it's going to get out. So 24 hours is just the bare minimum. OK. All right. So now I'm going to take some apples. The actual leftover part of the shrub. And I'm going to mash it up some more because I still want to get a little bit more juice out of it. But it's not going to be for that mason jar full of shrub. It's going to be for the tea. So I have 10 tea bags and I'm going to simmer up or boil up about 61 ounces of water. And I'm going to pour the hot water into the tea so that way the tea can simmer for about 10 15 minutes. So my water is hot about 97 to 107 degrees. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit. And then we're going to throw the filter in there and we're going to put the apples in. Now this is a cold brew coffee system that I have right here, but I use it a lot for tea because it's convenient and it also has the filter in it. So I put the filter in and then it's time to put some of these chunks of apples in. This is going to be delicious. Mm. It's, I'm going to call it the apple pie tea because this is what it's going to taste like is apple pies. So I'm going to mix it in real good so that way those flavors can get out of that filter and go right into the tea. Now the type of tea that I'm using is black tea. You can use any type of tea you want, but for this one, I'm using black tea. And there you go. All right, by the way, here's the shrub. Look at that, nice jar. Now when you're making a drink, it doesn't take a lot of shrub to add flavor to your drink. Watch how I make a drink, I'll show you. But you know what, first I think I need to taste it so I can tell you how it tastes. Here we go. Mm. The flavor, there it goes. You're going to love this. It's amazing. It has a cinnamon apple pie taste, not overwhelming, with a tint. What is it, a tint? Well, a small tint or taste of vinegar. Tint, I think that I'm quite sure that is a word. You guys have to let me know. All right, but it does have great flavor. You're going to love it. And I'm going to show you how I like to use my shrub. So I have some San Pellegrino, almost messed that word up too. I have some San Pellegrino uh, sparkling drink, not the sparkling water. This is the sparkling drink. I love the sparkling drink. And then you just put some ice in a jar and then you put a couple of teaspoons of the shrub into it. Mm. This is going to be tasty, y'all. And then after that, it's time for you to add your favorite drink. Now, if you've never had San Pellegrino sparkling drink, you got to try it. It's they have many flavors and they are all tasty. So you have to try it. So I'm going to pour this in here on top of the ice and the shrub. And then after that, I'm going to mix it and I'm going to enjoy this drink 100 percent. Now, I know you're looking at the screen. You're saying, what is he going to do with that tea? Well, with the tea to the right, that big container, you know, you see it, the kind of brownish stuff. That's going to go in the refrigerator and I'm just going to let all that flavor extract out of the filter. All right, back to my drink. I'm going to stir that baby up really, really good. Mm. Refreshing. There we go. The taste. Amazing, sweet, tasty apple pie flavor mixed in with the sparkling drink. And there you go. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.